Body kits get a bad rap, sometimes rightfully so. They're expensive, so you'll have to find some way to make the money. Then after you finally get the kit and you chop up every panel on your car, you realize the pieces don't even fit, and poof, there goes your $30,000 car you are financing. Now you've got to walk back to all your neighbors again, like, I am once again asking for your financial support. Even though most of them look ridiculous, there are a few that aren't completely terrible. And today, I'm going to tell you about the seven wildest ones for American muscle cars. Let's get into it. I didn't include any Corvettes here, but I made a video a couple months ago about the craziest Corvette transformations, so check that one out next and subscribe for more stuff like this. Real quick before I start, I just have to say I can't speak for the quality of these companies or their products if anyone considers buying these. I have these ranked with the best ones at the end, so stick around for all the good stuff. Without further ado, the first kit is the Limjean Wide Body Mustang Kit. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Honestly, most of the kit's pretty conservative. The fender flares aren't that wide and nothing crazy is done to the back. The reason why I added this one is for that front grill. Just look at it. It's like a freaking vortex of teeth or razors. Even if you don't think it looks good, you have to admit the grill's a cool design. I tried to get info on this kit, but their website is so slow and I honestly can't tell if there's no details or nothing would load when I clicked. There might be other places to buy it, but the only place I could find was good all reliable AliExpress. It's posted on there for about 1700 bucks and $1,000 shipping. I wouldn't go reaching for my credit card on this one. The second kit is a wide body setup for challengers from a website called Clinched. It's a plastic kit costing around six grand, which comes with the flares, bumper add-ons, front lip hardware, and an optional spoiler. This is the only one that looks kind of like a typical wide body, but I wanted to add it because of the trim piece across the front bumper. I guarantee that's meant to be reminiscent of the 70s Kudas. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. I know there are conversion kits with grills and stuff specifically to make current challengers look like CUDA remakes, but I think it's awesome this company added that little touch to make this unique. The next kit is the 6th gen Camaro Bumblebee Transformers kit, and this one gets a little dicey. The website Scream Body Kit claims to be the first makers of the kit, and they say other companies are now copying their work and pictures. Apparently one American guy has been cheated and now has to, quote, make big modify. You how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I know, the English just isn't great because it's a foreign company from a city called Guangzhou. I really just couldn't resist that. I wonder where that is, actually. <laughs> Basically, if you plan on getting one of these, just do your research. Look-wise, I really like the hood and fenders. I think the front bumper and rear spoiler are all right, and I'm iffy about the black pieces on the rear bumper. Next up is the Duraflex Wide Body Challenger Kit. They do also sell a non-wide body kit for these, but these are the seven wildest muscle car kits. So we're gonna go thick or go home. Hell yeah, brother! The 15-piece kit is currently sold on their website for 2,867 bucks without bodywork and paint. You've gotta give them credit for being honest, but on their website, they do say proper fitment is not guaranteed and they won't give refunds for minor fitment issues. Bottom line, either bring it to someone who definitely knows what they're doing, or you better hope this doesn't happen. That would especially suck if you had it installed wrong while you're on the highway. You'll go next to someone for a race in your super mean looking Challenger, and as soon as you hit 110, you run over the front half of your own car. My favorite part's easily the front bumper. Hellcats already kind of look like they have lower fangs, but this double fang setup is like a snake had a baby with some killer spider. Don't ask me how that would work. I've got no clue, but the front end looks freaking cool. The third to last car is also from the company Clinched, but this one is for Mustangs. Although they also make kits for the 2018s, the kits for the 15s to 17s transform the car a little bit more. It's up for around 6K and it'll apparently fit GT 350s and 350Rs with quote, additional custom work and some minor trimming. I would not cut up any part of a Shelby though. No, no, don't do it. 
They offer two different install options that they say are only up to personal preference. The kit requires some fender and quarter panel cutting, but they give a website to help with wheel sizes and they say their SEMA showing car had 315s on the back with lots of spare room. Personally, I've seen some people online who own these, and if I had to choose some wide body for a Mustang, I'd probably go with this one. The last two kits I would say are definitely above all the others in terms of looks, and I'll start with the CCR wide body 5th gen Camaro. The most legit looking site I could find these on was called customclassics.net, but I have to say I'm not sure if they're still being made. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> The price wasn't posted and the CCR page looks pretty inactive to me. The back is alright, I think it's a little bland and not well formed. The side profile's nice and the front looks killer. This has to be one of the most pure evil looking cars I've ever seen. The grey or any lighter color especially shows off the crazy hood and bumper overhang which I think they made a little longer. And the lower grille completely looks like an evil smile. If I had a 5th gen Camaro and I could somehow make the front and sides work without the rear end, maybe just like a wicker bill and really aggressive diffuser, I'd probably highly consider this. The final insane muscle car body kit is the SCL Performance Mad Max Wide Body Challenger Kit. The downside is the price isn't on SCL's website, but on Royal Body Kits, it sells for around 11 grand. I'm broke as shit. Although it's expensive, it'll replace 70% of the body and the headlights. It comes with a functional demon style hood, both bumpers, grill, exhaust tips, fenders, side skirts, lip spoiler, and the F1 style brake light. Opposite of the last Camaro kit, the back is where this thing kills it. So what you doing out here with all this ass? The differences between this and Hellcats are pretty subtle, but everything they did makes it look so badass. I honestly can't think of how they could improve it from here. Perfection. Honorable mentions are whatever the hell happened to this poor Mustang and this dude who said, screw it, I want a thick Stang. Serious honorable mentions are the 5th and 6th gen Trans Am Camaro conversions. A lot of 5th gens have been done, but this is the best one that I've been able to find, and I think this 6th gen is really well done, especially in that color. There you have it, those are the 7 wildest muscle car kits out there. Tell me in the comments which of these is your favorite and how you feel about body kits in general. I know there are a lot of different opinions about it, and to be honest, besides maybe the front end of that CCR Camaro, I don't think I'd ever buy a body kit. Hold on, this whole operation was your idea. That is true, but my ideal appearance mods to 80% of cars is a pretty simple front and side splitters, rear diffuser, wicker bill spoiler, hood, and maybe some aftermarket headlights or brake lights. Kits don't really do it for me, but everyone's got their own opinions, and any of these would be really cool to see on the road or at a meet. As always, if you enjoyed this video, tap that like button to let me know and subscribe to Liberty Drives for weekly American car content and news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Have a great day.